So. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, ooh, 29. Is that you? Is that you? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So earlier that week before everything, I finished off my work week enjoying my work days. Honestly, I love working from home. Dwayne is my favorite coworker I've ever had. Um, he was working on a few things. He's taking a break here, but I was eating in a couple of meetings. And some people don't really believe that work from home people be working, but I feel like this is the most I've ever worked in my life is working from home. And I think that's because of the comfortability of my home. You just sometimes you don't have a clock that says to turn off. And so because you're so comfortable and you're getting stuff done, you're knocking it out. It's very easy for me as a type A person to miss lunch, to miss dinner. And I love having my husband, my partner to tell me, hey, it's lunchtime. Hey, let's get a bite to eat. Hey, let's step out for a walk, get some fresh air, because that's really important working from home. Um, so, yeah, this was basically our day. this episode of keep it positive sweetie i absolutely love her i love this um channel the one with tyler perry because i heard there was like a lot of controversial topics on this episode so i just wanted to watch it um but y'all in my 28 going on 29 years of living can you believe this is my first time cooking steak <laughs> like i don't even know what to do like this is a big piece I don't know, do you wash it? Cause I wash all my meat. Do you wash steak meat? Um, Alexa, can you wash steak meat? No, that's not what I need. Yes, 
So I'm washing this. Thank you. Um, so my hands are clean. I've already seasoned my pork chops because I'm like meal prepping for the week. Um, I was like, may as well just record this because I actually don't want to even take it out on the on the chopping block because I'm going to cut up vegetables on here and I don't want to have to wash it for like 15 times today. Whoa. Ugh. So I'm going to wash that. It's a piece of sirloin beef steak. So we're going to wash this and then I'm going to slice it up because I'm making garlic butter. What am I making? Where's the, where's the recipe? <laughs> I'm making garlic herb butter steak bites. Wow, I don't even think I have butter. I don't have enough butter. Um, we gonna let it do what it do. <laughs> Now, <laughs> here's my two cents while I make these steak and potatoes. But, um, and I'm speaking as someone who was fully married, seven years, y'all. And I met my husband when we were younger, we were kids, so it was like we grew up together. I don't have like the same story as a lot of people. I don't have the same testimony. We not we we don't have like I'm not gonna be able to relate to a lot of things, but what I will say is <laughs> I will say this. Me now in my adulthood, I don't think that it's fair to ask someone, a woman who is establishing herself or established in her career. I don't think it's fair to ask her to take on the responsibility of leading the household and she ain't your wife um, or he's not your husband. Like, like, and I know like I'm kind of not agreeing with Tyler, but I also understand why he's saying that. I would understand like if y'all are married and y'all have an understanding that, okay, I'm gonna be doing this for a little while. My husband and I, we did that. We were in college. One of us went to school while the other one worked. One of us worked while the other one went to school. We took turns and so we both can finish our degrees. And that was my husband. That was 2017, 2018. We were already married from 2016, so. I don't necessarily agree with what he's saying. Like, if that person is not like your partner, like y'all, and you know what? You could be married and you lifting the load and that person don't have the understanding to say, oh, let me get a job or let me pay more than the light bill. Cause the light bill can't feed we. <laughs> like just paying the light bill is not putting food on the stove, okay? <laughs> Um, I love these kinds of conversations because it definitely tells me <laughs> how high of my standards. My standards have always been high, but it definitely tells me like how high my standards would have remained, you know, throughout my adulthood. Um, or not even like how high my standards would have remained, but just like what I will and will not compromise on, like. You know if you want to pay the bills or you know if you want to be lifting the heavy load, like if it's your apartment or whatever, 
but me not take up myself for boyfriend and paying all the bills and no i just don't think that makes any sense i think that society today has brainwashed us as women or men whatever to think that in order to keep your significant other you have to do certain things and it's just like no have your standards stay through to them stay true to them hold true to your standards like it's like ooh, i don't even know how to say it but i don't agree to, with mr tyler Perry, but i also understand what he's saying like I don't agree. He's, so, yeah. I'm gonna keep watching though because I wanna see like what else he's saying. Also, what y'all think? Do y'all agree with what he's saying in this video? Because I get it. Like I get where he's coming from, but at the same time, like I'm not telling any of my friends, oh, your boyfriend lost his job and he needs to move in with you. Boo boo, where am I da? Where's your mom? Where's your dad? Where's your family? Because I, you're not my dependent. Unless y'all have some sort of codependency agreement, then that's different. But um, yeah, let me go turn these potatoes. <laughs> you don't understand the love that we have yeah. for each other. I agree. And I also don't agree. So he's saying like, when he said to her, meet me at my worth, not just, he wasn't just talking about net worth. He was talking about self-worth. So I understand that to a certain degree, but as a first generation uh, immigrant coming to this country, I can say that there are some things that financial security cannot substitute or replace. Like we can have all the love in the world, but if you have, <clears throat> you have healed from childhood trauma that is around financial insecurities, then being with someone that makes you feel financially secure is going to be a detrimental part of the relationship, whether or not it's a him or a woman, if they're not providing or if they're not able to provide, it's going to impact the relationship at some point in time. So I'm not saying that I don't understand where they're coming from. I understand where he's coming from. I don't necessarily agree with it to be like this blanket it shouldn't be like this blanket solution because everybody everybody's situations is different we just have to be aiming towards something more than i'm paying the bills all the time i'm sorry no it it's a collaborative effort and yes Self-worth is important, but also net worth. Also, my skin is like glistening. That's sweat though, because I've been working all day. But yeah, let's continue. When, when they were in the store. Yeah, he ain't gonna get mad because his woman is Oprah and she's a billionaire. <laughs> That's not the average black person, Mr. Perry. <laughs> it's like, what? Because I had so much to deal with because I had to figure something that black people care
<laughs> you know, this is my first time cooking steak, right? It is? Yes. For real? Yes, I've never cooked steak before. I don't even eat steak. <laughs> it's really good. You like it? Mm hmm. Very good. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a good business. I ended the night cleaning and the dinner was approved by hubby so he enjoyed it he finished two plates i backed off my wig and just got to cleaning and straightening up because the next day we were heading to new york and that is where things get so much more fun and exciting so keep watching Good morning. Um, we are packed up in the vehicle. Hobie's back there. King is inside with Dwayne because he has been really trying me this morning. Um, but we are packed up. We are heading to New York today. So, um, yeah. My nephew is being christened this weekend, so that's exciting. Um, and what else? We will be, I'll be back home on Wednesday, but I'll be kind of like vlogging this whole weekend. So, yeah. Put your best just prior to exit the aircraft by pulling down sharply on the red tab. They have really stepped it up in Newark, New Jersey's airport. We rarely flew out of there or flew into that airport because it's just so far from where our family is. But its renovation has really been a game changer. And depending on the lounges that they have or they build out, we might just leave out of here or fly into here far more often now. Who knew? Who would have thunk it? I saw New Jersey, I gone. I saw Newark, Newark, are you this? Wow. Okay. When we finally made it to the Bronx, to my in-law's house, my nephew was there and I got to ring in my 29th birthday, holding him in my arms with my husband by my side and it was so beautiful and relaxing. I really, really enjoyed making it back to the Bronx, back to where we grew up, safe and sound. The following day, which was my birthday, ending up being a really long but beautiful prep day. Putting in loose, you're in throw me, you don't think. This on your hook, I do, me, my feet, they have been melting. So for me, you'll bend down in my heart, test that dance. Your first shot, get. Oh. 
I haven't had my hair in this type of style ever. Side part with Levi? Who am I? Who is she? Who is she? Well, today has been a very long and expensive day of female grooming because why does everything cost so much to be pretty like it costs to really put yourself together and i just left the um the nail salon and i'm waiting on my cab my lift driver because i'm going home to get ready now for dinner and then the spa a late night spa sesh with my husband but wow the most i'm on him is spent today already so <laughs> oh i'm ooh. 29 is that you is that you yeah yeah first and foremost Thank you to Kiva for making me feel absolutely gorgeous and executing this look flawlessly, this hairstyle flawlessly, exactly how I wanted it. And thank you to me for beating my face down because, wow. And thank you to my man for sponsoring it all. <laughs> Anyways. I'm so excited to spend my birthday. We're heading to dinner and then the spa. There's my dress. I've had this dress for over two years, no, a year now, but I didn't get to wear it last year because my husband surprised me with a trip to the Cayman Islands and I he bought me so much clothes and I ended up wearing everything he bought me on that trip except for the one dress that I bought myself because I thought I was just gonna take birthday pictures and go to dinner, but we ended up in the Caymans. <laughs> Anyways, um, 29. reflecting and he asked me a few questions he asked me one 
am I happy? And my real and honest answer was, I have never been more happier in my life. At 29, I was exactly where I wanted to be in my life, in my career. We had just bought our home the year prior. We're thinking about starting a family. I had met my best friend a year prior as well, and she was in town this weekend as well. You know, it was just a really, like, really raw moment of realizing the right people were in my life at the right time. And I just felt so blessed this night. We ended up making a whole bunch of TikToks downstairs in the bathroom. Um, it was, I felt beautiful. It was fun. Um, and at 29, I don't know a lot of people, or I didn't know a lot of people who can say that they felt like they were right where they were supposed to be in their lives. And I felt exactly that way. I have never felt more happier, more free. My husband and I, we've traveled so much the last past, the past five years. And I just enjoyed every second, every experience, the good, the bad, the ugly, the sad. And we've had way more good times than bad times. So I was just reminiscent of all of that. And yeah, here are the TikTok videos we made. And we were just having a blast. But this night was so beautiful. After dinner, we actually went to Brooklyn to enjoy some live music. And then we met up with one of our friends that we grew up with and his girlfriend. I really appreciated them making time to hang out with us. This was nice to end off my birthday night with them. May the good Lord Again that you made. <laughs> mm, he's so cute. What's up? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Got your Jordans on? Mm hmm. Aw. He's so sweet. Hi, guys. So I'm excited. I'm so excited. I look oily. This makeup got me looking oily. Anyways, I'm so excited because today is going to be a great day. Look who I got with me. I've got my baby nephew and um yeah I didn't even plan to vlog but I was like you know what I'm just gonna talk about it because this is our first full day well we've hung out together but he was like three days old <laughs> when I stayed um me and my husband we stayed in New York for a month after he was born um so we got to see him like as a baby 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 so now he's like three months he was christened yesterday and I'm so excited to like take him somewhere. I'm thinking like we could do like a pumpkin patch since it's fall. So we're gonna either do that or, oh there's an ambulance. Um, I'm thinking we are gonna do the pumpkin patch, but I'm thinking whether I should take him to Westchester or Long Island. Westchester is closer to the Bronx. Long Island requires crossing a bridge. Um, but if I take him to Long Island, then I could also probably get to see my brothers and they can get to meet him. Um, and I'm also thinking if I do Long Island, I know more places in Long Island. I know like we can go to Roosevelt Field Mall. Um, I just know more places there that I could actually take him to um, than if I were to just like go to Westchester just for the pumpkin patch alone. I don't know what else I could do over there. I mean, there's Westchester Mall, but I guess I guess because my people's is in Long Island I want to go to Long Island so all right I'm gonna decide once I check what traffic looks like because if I see what traffic looks like 
and I'm up for the drive, then I'll drive to Long Island. If it's not crazy. If it's crazy, we might not do that. So. <laughs> so. I definitely warned Brittany. I said, if this baby start crying, it don't matter where I'm at, whatever he needs, I'm pulling over because my baby not going to be bawling his eyes out. My nephew not going to be with me and be hungry. So I'm literally about to, I was about to um, drive to Long Island. I'm actually 40 minutes away, but there's a lot of traffic. So there was a spot to pull over. My sweetheart, my sweet pea gonna eat his food, okay? Because one thing he's not gonna be with me is hungry, period. Why are you spitting out the food, baby? Um, yeah, so here I am. I feel like baby's gonna cry right but me not like when my noise that the baby hungry i didn't just ah, ah. no i want him to eat sam did hungry in the last eight eight o'clock this morning and at one o'clock no i was gonna feed him at 12 but he was knocked so we did not end up at the pumpkin patch but i did take him to see our my family he got to meet my brothers and my stepfather and we also went to the mall i took my brother to the mall got him some clothes and then we also went to the louis vuitton store where i got myself my birthday gift to myself and i think that was baby p's first time in a luxury retail store and it will not be his last period Bulletproof, look at you What happened? Did she hurt you? Are you okay, baby? Everyone gets hurt That's how we learn to make love work Hi guys So I figure I should take the time out vlog a little bit since I really didn't do any vlogging this week. Currently at the Dr's Eye Lounge and I'm having breakfast before I get off this flight um, because I have a long way to go like after I got my sister to after I land in San Antonio about three hours to drive to McAllen. So I'm just trying to get my first meal of the day in and then um, had some, I'm gonna have some coffee as well as, I'm gonna have some coffee. Oh, that's good. As well as drink some water, drink some orange juice, make my way to um to um to the flight 